memorable vacations was when I went to a group of islands north of Sicily called the Aeolian Islands, seven islands, all volcanic, north of Sicily. And they are so beautiful. And to go between the islands by ferry is one of the most memorable and romantic occurrences that any human being can undertake at any time in their life. The pleasure and the beauty surpasses almost anything else that you could do in that whole region. On the island, Stromboli, with a few friends that I met in traveling in the islands, we climbed the volcano to the top and we stayed there all night watching the gases ignite. And in the morning, the clouds were completely enveloped the whole top of the volcano. We couldn't see even our hand in front of our face. But it was so beautiful. The memories are wonderful. Um, one of the islands uh, was Lipari, which have like the most beautiful white humus sands. And Stromboli was the first time I've been on an island that had black sand beaches from the basaltic eruption of the volcano. Because what happens is that when the volcano erupts, all that material that's exploded, the waves bring and compact the material into the beach area, and that's how the black sand beaches are formed. But it's so memorable. And I always tell people, if you go take the ferry, don't take the motor launches, which take you much faster, because it, it ruins the whole pleasure of going between the islands, which are the most pre pleasurable part of the trip. Um, and Sicily, I have such good memories of Sicily too. Just incredible that I didn't speak the language, and yet the people helped me every time I needed help. They were there for me, sometimes beyond reasonable expectations. But I have such good memories, and memories especially of things that happened that were beyond comprehension. Um, the most memorable of all was one time going up the, the west coast of Sicily, we were waiting for a train, and when the train came, it was completely filled with people. We couldn't even get on the train, so the conductor, not the conductor, but the engineer in the locomotive waved us to come forward, and he found out our situation, and he told us if we wish, we could ride with him in the locomotive, and that's exactly what we did. We, we went up into the locomotive, and we rode up the whole western coast of Sicily for free in the locomotive. That's a memory that I, you can't make up, and it's one of the most incredible memories I've ever had. The reason I was going up the coast was because I was going to this festival in this little um, hilltop, hilltop village called Erice, up in the northwest part of Sicily. It was a music and art festival, and when I got there, I tried so hard to find a place to stay, but it was so popular that I couldn't find any place at all. So I was leaving when somebody told me about a family of caretakers down the road that had uh, an old uh, sports center that they were caretakers for, and it was the off season. If I wanted, I could walk and ask them to stay there. So I went because I wanted to go to the festival. And this family not only let me stay there, I was the only guest, but they, wel they, they welcomed me like I was part of their family. And that's another wonderful memory I have, you know, in my vacation in Italy. It was unbelievable. I was able to attend the festival and I was treated like part of the family there. This is my chess set. It's a, it's a, a, chess, a chess mat which you roll yeah. up, a chess clock which you use because you play against time, and the chess pieces, all, all in, the chess, in the chess carry case. And it's easier to, to keep everything in one, in one uh, bag because you have the whole, the whole uh, set. And it's yeah. more pleasurable to play with your own set because it's more enjoyable than the, than the types of sets that they have on display that people play with here. My name is Michael Bloom and I come here pretty regularly. I've been coming here for probably like seven years. And I must say that that I pray that this place never closes or is forced to close because it would be like losing a member of my own family.
It's, a, it's such a beautiful and important place in my life. Not just because I love chess, but it's because I love the people that come here. And it's the people that really make this place such a, a testament to, to the owner, you know, who keeps this place, you know, from closing. Sometimes it's very hard. And I pray, you know, that an, in, that a, an amendment that they introduced to the city council here in New York to make commercial establishments um, part of the uh, rent stabilization, like they have in residential apartments, that comes that it comes to pass because that would be a major step to protect this, like to get landmark status, so it couldn't be closed. And I pray that that either one of those or both would be even better happen. Another vacation that I took. Um, in Italy, in the northeastern part of Italy, up near the Austrian border. And let me tell you, there isn't another mountain range anywhere else in the world that has the fairy tale spires of the Dolomites, um, which, since I studied geology, uh, were an ancient um, coral reef in the old uh, Tethy Sea before the Mediterranean that were uplifted when African plate um, impacted into the Eurasian plate and upthrust not only the Alps but the Dolomites. And the Dolomites were created up near the Alps but they're unique because of their design, the spires that, that are well documented, you know, the beauty of the spires. And the Dolomites is such a beautiful place, you know, for those who love hiking and trekking. And just that whole region is, is, is memorable. It's interesting, too, um, that in that region they speak not only Italian, but to this day, in some of the towns near the border, in Italy, they still speak German. And even in some of the valleys up near the border, they speak an ancient dialect called Ladino, which is also interesting because they have a museum in one of the towns, you know, to preserve, you know, the ancient, the ancient dialect. So these are some of the treasures of, of, of northern Italy, just like in the south, the treasures, you know, like in Sicily. It's, Italy is full of, of, of memor memorable places to visit. And every time you think, you know, you've seen it all, you're wrong because there's always more to explore. What sets the Dolomites apart from the Alps, from my understanding of the geology, is that they were a, a part of um, coral reefs that were in what is the ancient Mediterranean that were upthrust at a separate time of the Alps because the composition of the rock material are mostly from oceanic limestones, coral reefs. And that makes it different than the composition of the Alps. And also the shapes of the Dolomites are unique in all the world. The spires are, are almost like someone crafted them by hand, like an artist. It's interesting because they're right near the border with Austria, which of course is another extension, you know, of, of high-ranging mountains. You have all the skiing areas, you know, in that whole region stretching from France all the way across through Austria, so into Slovenia even. So, so it's, it's interesting that the Dolomites are unique in its own way. And it's right up there, you know, close to the Alps. Like when you first come into the closeness of the Dolomites themselves, it's, it does, there's nothing that can prepare you for how it affects you. It's the massive of, of the shapes and the spires of the Dolomites. It just blows you away. It's so overwhelming that I was stunned and I couldn't even move for a while. But my memories are forever engraved in my mind.